really rare and unexpected, obviously, event. Uh, to start to think about the possibility of intentionality here, which again, we have absolutely no information that would point in that direction right now. But the obvious starting place is with the boat itself and uh, the pilots and people on the boat who will be able to give us some insight as to what was going on there uh, in the lead up to this impact. Um, and of course, you know, those people will be, I'm sure, interviewed at length um, and their backgrounds will be looked into. Um, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, just watching the video here, you know, there's the, the space around the, the structure that was hit by the ship is, uh, you know, five times, six times, 10 times, uh, larger than the, than the structure itself, the support structure itself. So it's, uh, it, it certainly makes, you know, make anybody ask those sorts of questions, but I think it's really important that we hear from authorities on scene after they've had a chance to connect with the operators of that vessel uh, to see if there's really any reason to believe that this could have been some sort of an intentional event uh, or, or sabotage or something like that. But that's the likely and uh, obvious place to start.